Hey, family. Welcome to Grief to Great Day and a replay of one of the top five episodes downloaded in 2022. So I think every January, what I'd like to do is do a recap of the top five from the previous year or years, because a whole year has gone by. And apparently these five meant something to you because they were downloaded the most. So for the next five episodes, you'll be listening to the top five from last year. You know, as we journey this road together, sometimes I think I get a little further along than some of you are, and I never want to do that because I know the first year, the second year, they are extremely hard. These coming from last year were kind of the beginning of when I started the podcast, so I think it will really help a lot of you relate who are just starting this journey and are very confused and feel like you're going crazy. You're not going crazy. I pray they are helpful to you. And for anything you need related to Grief to Great Day, just visit the website grieftograatday.com. Now sit back and listen to originally episode number four around how long before the pain ends. So many questions race through your mind after a death and you want answers to them because you want the pain to stop and to stop now. Actually, what you really want is for this to never have happened. But you're here, so what do you do now? In this episode, we'll address one of those questions, and you'll get the answer you may not want to the question of, when will this stop? Hey friend, welcome to the Grief to Great Day podcast. I'm Steph Cavanis, Southern by choice, wife, turtle triathlete, Jesus follower, and fellow traveler in the journey of grief. Right now, you may be feeling like you're losing your mind. You might be surrounded by people, but feel all alone because not everyone understands the pain and sadness you're dealing with. You want to be the you you were before they died, but have no idea how to get there. I know because I've been there. So if you're ready to understand how grief affects you, rebuild your faith and take just one step towards healing then get into a comfortable place, even if that's your bed right now, turn off all distractions, and let's get started. Girl, there's hope for your future. Thanks for being here. You know, when I do these podcasts, it's like you and I are sitting on the couch at my house. It's warm, but not too warm because I'm in that special season of life, and there's plenty of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you'd like to have. So I hope you feel welcomed and heard. To this point, we have talked about grief in the early stages, and in the upcoming episodes, we'll begin walking through the grief journey. The journey is not something anyone desires to walk out, but most will have to in their lifetime. And there are many stops along the way, but there is only one destination that I want you to get to. And that destination is you on the other side of the negatives of grief. The pain, the confusion, the overwhelm, the physical issues, and all the things. There is such a place and you will get there. I hope you're somewhere where you can picture something in your mind. Are you ready? Alrighty, here goes. You're standing on a paved road. The sky is blue, but there are clouds. And when you look around, you see thick woods to the left and to the right of you. In front of you, far away, you can make out that there are mountains, but they're small because they're far away. You turn around and behind you is a swamp full of alligators. You've been told that when you cross those mountains, you're going to feel better. You will see things more clearly and you're going to have the tools and most importantly, the desire to begin building a new life but it's so far away and you're already too tired to imagine getting there. All right, so keep this picture in your mind as we continue. How many times have you asked God or someone else, how long before this ends? How long for the pain, the confusion, the anger, the questioning, the feeling like life is never going to be good again, but mostly how long for the pain of grief 
to go away. I asked how long so many times I got on my own nerves. The pain of grief will affect you physically, yes, and we'll talk about that in a future episode, but unlike physical pain, it doesn't affect just one part of you. It's not tangible, and you can't point to where it hurts, so there's no good way to explain it except to say that it's something you've never experienced before. Now, it didn't take me too long to really feel the pain of grief. I had experienced a little bit during Monica's sickness and certainly right after she died, but after the busyness of taking care of her and the busyness of dealing with what I call the business of death, like, you know, the obituary, the funeral homes, state stuff, all that, that's when the pain really made a home in my heart. I asked those in my family circle who had been through grief to tell me how long so I could prepare myself. Gosh, is it going to be like this for a week, a month, a year? God forbid any longer than that. And the answer I always got was it will take as long as it takes. Well, that answer sucked. How does that help? How do you prepare for some unknown length of time? Later, I realized that they were being honest with me and not setting me up to compare myself with some arbitrary timeline. See, when you're dealing with overwhelm and day after day you wake up and nothing has changed and you struggle to find a reason to go to work beyond that paycheck or the mortgage, you want the overwhelm and the pain to stop. All right, so let's go back to that picture in your mind. How long will it take for you to reach and cross those mountains? The answer is dependent on many factors, and a few of those include, do you even have a map of how to get to the other side? What kind of weather will you encounter? Are you wearing the proper clothing and shoes to make the distance? Will you have to stop and rest? And are you going to crawl, walk, or run to get to the other side? Now that is like grief. If you have no idea of where you're headed, like no map, you'll never get to where you need to be. If you aren't clothed in proper attire, and by attire I mean your relationship with God, it'll be harder to deal with the elements of the weather or the issues of grief and life. I wish I could have run straight over those mountains and stop the pain and overwhelm of grief immediately, but I couldn't even run in the beginning. I had to crawl. Then my crawl turned into a walk, and there were actually some times, glimpses, of where I would see great progress. But we can all agree that there is no way to get from here to there, from your grief in this moment, to having that great day without stopping and without resting. So if you were to ask me, how long does the pain last? How long do I have to go through this? I would have to tell you the same thing that my friends told me. I don't know how long it will last, but I promise it won't be for forever. You just must walk the difficult road until you are over the mountains. It'll look and it'll feel like you'll never get there, but every step is a success. Every step gets you closer. And honestly, I think the question of how long is really more about fear. It's about being scared to be stuck in the muck and not being able to get out. I wanted for someone to give me a timeline so I would know if what I was experiencing was normal or not. I asked God how long, even more than I asked my family. He also did not give me the answer I was wanting, but the question of how long kept me going to him. It wasn't the only thing I prayed about, but it was one of the most frequent things that took me boldly to the throne time and time again. God won't change what is surrounding you until you allow him to change what is within you. Even when you think that there is no way your loss 
and this pain could be a part of the plan for your life, he is drawing you closer to him to change you and to grow you. Yes, there is still a plan for your life. You still have a purpose and you don't have to get excited about that right now. But you do have to trust, and at least my confidence, that it will change. See, God is no respecter of persons. So if he did it in my life, he will do it in yours. And I promise I was a basket case. With complete certainty, I can't tell you when, but I can tell you that he will. Next time, we're going to begin the journey of grief, and this podcast is going to help you navigate the journey. So I'll be the map as we encounter issues along the way. Your journey works this week. Remember, the work of your journey is to go to grief, the number two, greatday.com, sign up for the newsletters, and get a free download of the Journey of Grief illustration. This is what we're going to be using in the upcoming episodes. Now, it's not going to be a straight path because grief isn't that predictable, but it will give you an idea of where we're headed. Share it with others, too, because they can get a better sense of what you're going through. It's really a great way to, to start those hard conversations. And in the coming months, I'll be able to open an online community for all of us to come together and support each other. I'm really excited about that. And I'll begin to add guests to answer some of the questions that I don't feel comfortable answering. I can share my experience, but I want a Christian counselor to be able to answer those other questions. So email me any question you'd like to have answered. Don't forget to pray, read, and rise. That's going to be journey works for the rest of your life. Not just through this, but for forever. And also, share with me what your non-negotiable is. We talked about that a few episodes back. Um, I'd like to know what you guys have come up with and what's working and what's not working. So let me know and keep on coming back to the house. Keep sitting on this couch and keep taking a step forward. It does not matter how big the step is. It just matters that you take it. Thank you for being here today, for showing up. If this podcast has given you hope, encouragement, or helped you in any way, share it with a friend, either in a text or on your social platforms. Also, please subscribe, rate, and leave a written review on iTunes. It's a huge blessing for me to know that you're out there. Lastly, and this is important, you are not alone. Connect with me on the Grief to Great Day website, the link is below, and sign up for our free newsletters. I want to be able to pray for you by name. Remember, grief isn't something you're going to get over, but a great day is something you can get to.